French philosopher Michel Foucault advanced many new philosophical theories during his time, but one of his most interesting propositions related to interpretation and meaning. Foucault explored these two concepts in his book, The Order of Things. This book began with a chapter that developed an interpretation of the already widely examined Las Meninas by Diego Velazquez. This interpretation was entirely unique and differed from all other scholarly responses to Las Meninas that had been previously formulated. But before an understanding of Foucault's theory can be reached, a description of Las Meninas is necessary. The painting, at first glance, provides no explanation of its meaning. The painter, being represented within Las Meninas, is in fact Diego Velázquez himself. It is, however, far from being a mere self-portrait. Instead, the masterpiece depicts the royal court, including the young daughter of King Philip IV and Queen Mariana of Austria at the center. The royal couple is also present in Las Meninas. However, they are reflected in the mirror on the back wall. A brief history of Diego Velázquez may explain the reason for his presence in the royal court. Velázquez's outstanding talent and originality was immediately recognized by Philip IV. He was made a painter to the court and soon rose to become chief painter to the king. From that point until his death over 30 years later, Velázquez remained a devoted royal servant. He rose through the ranks to become one of the king's most senior courtiers and he earned the distinction of being the only Spanish artist Philip IV would sit to. With that context in mind, we can now turn our attention to Foucault's theory about Las Meninas. Foucault argued that Las Meninas was not a representation of the royal family, or of the royal court, or even of Velázquez himself. Rather, Las Meninas was a representation of classical representation. To understand Foucault, we must first understand what classical representation is. The definition, simply put, is the realistic portrayal of reality according to the perception of the artist. Through this representation of classical representation, Foucault saw a critique of classical representation, mainly that Las Meninas could not be accurate because it could never include the foundation of what is being represented. It could not include the artist, Velázquez, the spectator, and the object of representation, the king and queen. Foucault, therefore, did not see classical representation as pure, just like the painting of the pipe. In the painting is a clear depiction of a pipe, but underneath are the words, this is not a pipe. In other words, although it is a representation, it is not a pipe. We examine three main objections to Foucault's theory. The first is formulated by the scholars Snyder and Cohen. Snyder and Cohen examined the geometry of the room in which Las Meninas was painted. They used mathematical formulas to establish that the mirror was not reflecting the actual king and queen, but the mirror reflects the portrait of the king and queen. This challenges Foucault's theory by first questioning his understanding of the painting, and secondly, by questioning whether the object that is being represented, the king and queen, are actually present in the room. If the king and queen were not actually present, then the foundation is not absent. The second argument against Foucault comes from the scholar Robert Wicks. Wicks contends that Las Meninas was meant to be viewed from a position of four foot seven. Wicks then theorizes that this would be the accurate height of the Virgin Mary. From this, Wicks deduces that Las Meninas is Velázquez's attempt to display a journey of spiritual enlightenment. Wicks uses other works by Velázquez to prove that the artist did in fact deal with religious and mythical themes, the most prominent of which is in his work The Spinners. This work incorporated the Greek mythological tales with the reality of common day people. The final objection comes from the philosopher John Searle. The argument is that Las Meninas is a paradox that defies classical representation and therefore cannot be a representation of classical representation. One of the ways Ciro supports his contention is by claiming that Las Meninas is a representation of Velázquez as he is in the act of representing Las Meninas. Las Meninas has baffled spectators for centuries, but Foucault's interpretation of the masterpiece provides an entirely novel interpretation that warrants inspection, and while it may not provide the final interpretation, it certainly has provided an entirely new perspective on Las Meninas. 